What's up creatives? Today I wanted to show you guys a couple cool music video effects that I do in my actual projects and some that I've actually learned recently. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so here we have a timeline and um, it actually has um, a piece from a music video. I've actually cut up a few sections where I wanted to show you specific uh, actual effects. So let's get right into that. Uh, I think I'm gonna do like four or five. There's a different couple of different ones here. So. The first one, there's like, a, he does like a bird call or something in the actual song. It's like, brrr, so um, to that, it's kind of like the hi-hats. You want to edit to sounds in the beat or sounds like ad-libs, sounds that the artist makes or sounds that is in the beat. That's like the most important key to editing music videos or any video at that. Like you have to pay attention to the sounds. So what an effect is for is to visually match what you're hearing. So you're going to hear it and you want to see something to make a transition or an effect to that sound. So your eye and your ear are both pleased at the same time. You don't just want to be throwing effects randomly in the middle of a song that doesn't even make sense and there's not a sound to actually go to it that's why I like the whoosh transition sound effects are so cool when people do zoom effects because adding that sound design to an effect or adding that effect to a sound is major key that's like the most important thing when editing anyway he has a bird call right here so basically what I want to do I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna cut right here i'm gonna get my cut tool the razor tool and i'm gonna cut every other i mean every frame so boom all right then i'm gonna i'm gonna actually what i'm gonna do here is i want to do some type of an effect i'm gonna go ahead and boost it up to like 125 the scale and i'm gonna take the opacity down to let's say 75. Now, as you can see, there's kind of like a ghost effect going on right there. Actually, let me just get rid of these, drag this back out, and then now cut them. That way, they'll all have that ghost effect. I don't have to go individually. So you want to cut all these up to those um, that bird call, and you want to take out every other one. So it's kind of like a it's kind of like a ghost stutter effect. So that's cool, it's like a cool little stutter ghost effect. Now you can take these out, drag this back again, and let's do something even different. Let's do Command J to do this clip speed and duration. Let's reverse it, and let's speed it up 150. Now, since it's um, sped up, it's shorter, so let's drag it out, and now let's do the cuts again to every frame, and take out every other one. And you wanna make sure that you wanna start the effect right where he does that first, that initial sound of the bird call all the way to where he ends doing it. So I've already went through the sounds frame by frame like this with the arrow key. And I started at the beginning and the end. So make sure of that. And then you wanna take out every other piece. See, so it's kinda of like a blur stutter effect, which is pretty dope. And there's so many other things you can do with that. Like it's so tight. You can do all types of different things. You can take two out. Wait, let's do this one, this one. Uh, uh, uh. See, that was pretty dope too. It wasn't actually to all of them, but it made sense to the sounds. It's kind of just all over. That's cool. So that's the first one. Kind of like the stutter to like the uh, bird call or hi-hats or anything like that just like the flicker I mean a lot of people do the flicker as well I mean that's just the basic it's kind of just like the flicker boom 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 actually sorry let me take this off let me take that um, opacity off and change that back so if you want to just do the flicker delete that let's um, hold option click and hold the option and drag your clip up to do like a duplicate I don't know these are actually I use the Final Cut Pro 7 keyboard shortcuts so if you're actually having a hard time keeping up with me I do the Final Cut Pro 7 keyboard shortcuts here which I'll talk about in another video later uh, when it comes to editing music videos faster anyway you duplicate the layer over top cut out every other frame to get that basic flicker but you do have to up the scale size you have to do something to make it different so boom i, I did that all wrong again <laughs> sorry guys let me drag that out just like this and then cut you cut every frame so you can get every other bird call in there jeez take out every other one I 
that's kind of like a zoom effect in and out. All right, so that's cool. Let's move on to another one. All right, so right here, I like doing like a reverse. So if there's a kick right here and it goes to the clap, I want to take this clip, command C to copy and command V to paste it. So I got two of the same clips back to back. Now what I want to do is the second clip that's the exact same, I want to hit command J, I want to speed it up to 200 and I want to reverse it. Now, see this clip goes regular play, and then I pasted another one, but I reversed it and sped it up. So it's going to go forward and then back fast real quick, and then you can jump into the next clip. So it's a cool effect. It's just a cool effect. And then even to spice it up, let's see how many frames this is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's jump three, one, two, three, and then one more. Put a cut, and you can use... Um, Go to video transitions, dissolve, and additive dissolve. This is one of my favorite transitions. It kind of does like a flash in the cut. So it's going to play forward, reverse fast, and flash. And then into the next clip. So that's a cool effect that I like to do. Like the, just the reverse is pretty cool when you do it the right way. So there's a cool effect. Flash, a kind of ghost flash. So right on the kick, when a, like, when a kick's about to explode, boom. You could do like the right there on that kick, boom. So you can do any type of effect. So let's do a command, I mean, hold option, click and drag that up for a duplicate. Now we can size it up, let's say 130. Um, and let's actually drag the position down so it kind of matches. And let's change the blend mode to screen. That way the highlights are increased. Let's speed the clip up by 250. So you only want this to last real quick, just when the kick explodes, like boom. You only want it to last that long. You don't want to keep it running. So let's go shift and arrow key forward for five frames and let's cut that, oh, that uh, duplicate. Now let's drop a cross dissolve on the end of this. That way it, right on the kick, it flashes in and then the fa uh, cross dissolve fades it right out really fast. So it's just like a flat, a boom flash on that kick. So that's pretty dope. And then um, you could even go three frames before it and you want to options, click the clip, drag it up for a duplicate. And you can do like some crazy stuff here. You can even do a flicker. So let's cut it in between those three and take out the middle one. Um, I'm actually going to, let's see, I'm going to scale this one up to 200. Let's drag it down so it matches back again. So it kind of does a little quick effect right before the kick. I didn't even do anything to this one. So let's do a, uh, let's flip the screen horizontally. Horizontal, horizontal flip onto that one. So initially it's going a big, small flip and then boom on that kick, it flashes really quick. So it's like, you, if you add a bunch of crazy stuff right in like a couple frames, it makes like a, just, it, it doesn't really matter what you do as long as it's making the screen move or flipping or punching in or out or something like that, it makes a cool effect. So see, that was just, it just looked cool. So that's a cool effect. All right, so another effect, let's go and show you another effect that I love to do. On those kicks like that, I like to do like a punch. It punches in right on like when the kicks come in. So what you wanna do is you wanna scroll through frame by frame and find right there, right when it goes to the kick and you wanna highlight your clip and you wanna click this little toggle animation button right here. It's like a little alarm clock on the scale. Uh, basically that is setting a keyframe right there. So you want it to do something right there at that keyframe. Now you wanna jump back frame by frame by two frames, one, two, and you wanna click this little button over here to add a keyframe. Now you have a keyframe where you want it to start, where you want it to actually be in effect, and then you wanna jump two more where you want it to end. So let's add the keyframe for the ending. Now you have three keyframes, the ending, the beginning, and the middle. And the middle is where your effect is gonna be the most intense. So let's go back two frames to where the middle is, where it should be the most in effect, and let's punch it into like 150 scale. So now what's gonna happen is essentially when it's coming in for the kick, it's gonna go boom, and it's gonna punch in. So let's See, it's simple, but it's effective. Like when you're going through a music video edit and you see that punch in right on the beat, right on that kick, it's just, pleasing to your eye because you hear that kick and then like even on that I like to go like boom kick in come back out and then I go two more frames I'll cut I'll cut up a little further I'll do command J I'll speed the clip up 
maybe to like 250 it's a, if it's a 24 frames per second performance clip. And then I'll go two more frames and cut it. That way it punches in, back out, and then speeds up, and then I'll bring in another clip. So let's drag this clip in. Let's just kind of show you what I'm saying. So boom, it's gonna punch in, punch back out, go forward, speed up into this clip. So it just takes you on like a journey with your eyes. So that's a cool effect. Let's see what else do I got. All right, so let's show you another effect. Let's see what we can do here. Um, click in here. Uh, let's do like a mask. We're gonna mask this. No, 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 no. What we're gonna do, we're gonna duplicate this. Um, and the top layer, click this square right here. And uh, you wanna click this one time and then you wanna drag it out. You wanna click this one time, drag it out, but hold shift so it stays um, intact, like that straight line. So it's like, if you don't hold shift, it's gonna go like crazy and be like not even. So click this bottom one, click it again, hold and click it again, drag it out, but hold shift. Click this one, click it, hold, drag out, hold shift. Now we have an even rectangle bar straight across. Now what we can do is, this is the top clip. So they're the same clips, that's why you don't see an effect yet. But what I like to do is boom, go to the scale and put it at like 150. Now we have a cool effect where it's like the top clip is zoomed in, but it's masked out like this rectangle in the center. You see how what I'm saying right here? So boom, it comes in has that little rectangle mask in there where it like got it zoomed in. Then let's come to the next frame and we're just gonna do a regular. Then this frame, let's add something else to it. Let's do a um, duplicate it. Um, let's see, another thing that I'd really like to do is, let's go to opacity 75%. Now the top layer is a little lower and let's, let's bump it into 125. Now you got like a ghost effect, but let's do this. Let's add uh, arithmetic. Yeah, arithmetic. We're gonna add that. Now what this does is you can change the red, greens, and blues of this actual RGB clip. But first of all, you wanna come here and you wanna change this to, I think it is um, max. Yeah, you wanna change it to max and let's boost the reds all the way up. Now, if you um, click this eyeball right here, it'll mute the under track and you can see the one that's duplicated over top. It's all red, so that's really cool. And if you bring it back in, you see that you kind of have like a red ghost effect now. So right before that kick drops in, you got these quick effects, three frames of quick effects that kind of pop your eye right before it kicks. So right here, we have the mask with the scaled in, then we have regular, then we have the red ghost, and then boom, the kick. And we can even add something to the kick. Let's go, uh, let's duplicate this. And let's do a uh, shift in the arrow key forward to jump five frames cut that duplicate layer, get rid of the rest of it. All right, so now we can do something crazy on this kick. Um, let's see, what could we do? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scale it up to 150. That's cool looking right there. Now I'm gonna put a Gaussian blur. Gaussian, I think that's what you call it, Gaussian blur on it. And I'm gonna do, let's say 75%. Boom, that's cool. Repeat edge pixels, just so it doesn't have anything on the edges. Now, uh, let's go, let's do a um, video transition and dissolve and cross dissolve, let's put it on the end. That way it goes in real quick and fades out. So it's like a blur, fade, blur, punch, fade out at the kick now. So I wanna do something else though, what should I do? First of all, let's take this cross dissolve off of this and let's do Command J. Let's speed it up by 250. Then let's do shift forward to jump five frames, drag that back out. And we're basically doing the same thing we did a second ago, put the crossfade on it. So now it's blurred, it's punched in, and it's sped up, and it fades out. So what else could we add to this? Let's do a mask, let's do a mask. Let's click the square. Now what we've done is put a mask onto that blur uh, top duplicate layer. So let's bring the point up here to where you can't see that. Let's bring this one out here to where you can't see it. Let's bring this one down here to where you can't see it. And let's bring this one down here to where you can't see it. Now what we have is a mask on that top layer where it's like half the screen diagonally is that top layer blurred and the other half is just the bottom layer regular. So what do you wanna do? We're gonna bump this feather up so it's not like a hard line. Now it's kinda of like a 
super cool ghost effect with blur. I think that's it. Yeah, let's just add that. Now it looks kind of like a blur. It looks like a ghost like just on him instead of like the whole video. Well, kind of on the right side of the screen. Okay, now we have a cool effect. We got three frames before the kick where we've like added some stuff and we have that blur sped up and overlay kind of thing going on. So let's see how that looks. Oh man, that is a tight effect right there. I love that. Too bad you can't like make that into a preset because it's like duplicating layers and stuff. Like the presets that you can create for Premiere Pro that I know of to my knowledge can only be on like one clip in the effects. So right there, man, you got another cool effect, man. And I think I'm just gonna end this out right there, man. If you guys like, like this tutorial and it helped you like come up with some cool ideas or effects, whatever the case may be, slap a like, man, on this video, man. Like it and, and share it for other directors and editors to see so they can learn along with you. I made this video so you could learn and also so other people can learn. So let's share it and let's all learn together. Drop a comment down below and let me know which effect you like the most. And if you want more effects, let me know in the comments as well. I'm sure I'll do more music video effect tutorials because there's so many effects that are inside my head. I just can't think of them all right now. These are just like the recent ones that I've been using. So I'll see you guys next video. Peace.